Hi, I'm Mark Stevens, author of Adventures in Legal Land, host of the No State Project on the We the People radio network, the only show on the air dedicated to bringing about a voluntary society. And this is the world's shortest political quiz. I know there's some out there claiming to be the shortest, like this one. Trust me, this truly is the world's shortest political quiz. It consists of one very, very simple question. Should a service or product be provided at the barrel of a gun? Now, there are only two responsive answers to this question. That's yes or no. Should a service or product be provided at the barrel of a gun? If you answered no, services and products should not be provided at the barrel of a gun, congratulations. <laughs> You're what we like to call normal. Such a belief will put you off the political scale. It is neither right nor left. However, if you answered yes, services and products should be provided at the barrel of a gun, well, this is something the medical community describes as a personality disorder. In particular, antisocial personality. People with an antisocial personality, previously called psychopathic or sociopathic personality, most of whom are male, show callous disregard for the rights and feelings of others. They exploit others for material gain or personal gratification. Characteristically, such people act out their conflicts impulsively and irresponsibly. They tolerate frustration poorly, and sometimes they are hostile or violent. Despite the problems or harm they cause others by their antisocial behaviors, they typically don't feel remorse or guilt. Rather, they glibly rationalize their behavior or blame it on others. Dishonesty and deceit permeate their relationships. Hey, listen, we've never been stay the course, George. We will stay the course until the job is done. We will stay the course. We will stay the course in Iraq. So we'll stay the course. Frustration and punishment rarely cause them to modify their behaviors. See, the antisocial personality also tends to be narcissistic. See, people with a narcissistic personality have a sense of superiority and an exaggerated belief in their own value or importance, which is what psychiatrists call grandiosity. People with this personality type may be extremely sensitive to failure, defeat, or criticism, and, when confronted by a failure to fulfill their high opinion of themselves, can easily become enraged or severely depressed. Because they believe themselves to be superior in their relationships with other people, they expect to be admired and often suspect that others envy them. They feel they are entitled to have their needs attended to without waiting, so they exploit others whose needs or beliefs are deemed It is our support. duty as loyal Americans to shut up and shut up publicly. And if they can't do that, to shut up. And so you keep your mouth shut. Their behavior is usually offensive to others who view them as being self-centered, arrogant, or selfish. You may be asking yourself, why is this important? What does this have to do with the quiz? Well, what exactly is government? What is government factually, you know, without all the propaganda and PR? Stripped of all the public relations and propaganda, government is this. Men and women providing a service at the barrel of a gun. With government, you either pay or you get shot. Only psychopaths provide services at the barrel of a gun. And what we call government is just a group of men and women providing services at the barrel of a gun. And what better source to prove this than from government themselves? Tax, a forced burden, charge, exaction for the support of the government. That is 51 American Jurisprudence, Taxation, Section 3. You can actually get that from Ballantyne's Law Dictionary. So you can vote for Skull and Bones A or you can vote for Skull and Bones B. It is not going to change the fact that government is nothing more than a group of men and women providing a service at the barrel of a gun. And that won't change even if this guy is president. And that's the world's shortest political quiz.